Hi, welcome to GoCo Pro. I'm Derek and uh, today I've set up a little three colour job. I've done it from a GoCo Pro 100. I'm just using the small plastic clip frames. Uh, so this is just a little uh, experiment or, or demonstration of how you can set up a, a multiple colour job using the 100. It's not always the best for extremely tight registration. But if you're going to do um, some amazing uh, work, you can use the half tones that the GoCo Pro provides and you can also use some nice solid colours and titles and stuff like that. So we're going to set this up. I'm going to switch the camcorder off and on because normally when you're doing a multiple colour it does take a little while to set up and there's no point you sitting watching that. Um, I'll show you the rough procedure as we go along. So the first one that we've got here is uh, actually what I would class as my middle screen. This is a, a little tractor that sits in a farmyard scene with a name on the top. Um, so what I've done is I've just laid down the image of the tractor and this will allow me to line up my other items. I've got a little flash dryer here which we're just going to uh, dry off the first layer. I'm using Plastisol ink and that way we can uh, lay down and see through the screen to where the other item is going. It's not a thick layer and my next one is actually would be my first layer um, and what I can now do is I can look through this screen and see where the tractor is and where it sits. And then what I'm going to do, make sure I put this down, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up by slackening my clamps close, then I've got my micro registration on this uh, carousel to be able to adjust. So uh, this needs a little bit of adjustment, I can see that. Um, and rather than you stand and watch uh, me play around with it, I'm going to move this around using my micro registration. I just undo these and from the knurled uh, bolts at the back I can adjust my frame backward and forward to get it lying right. So I'm going to do that and we'll come back once I've set the second one up. So we've set up the second colour and you can see that we've kind of laid down the black and the red together. Uh, I'm now going to do the wording which is at the top um, and we'll see how that all pans out. So, uh, same story, I'm going to swish it around. Um, oh, I have a, bit of a, a flash dry. These are the, the good thing about this black layer that I've laid down, it's got an awful lot of detail. And when the more detail you get, if it's half tones, then all we're doing is we're just laying down a very fine um, piece of ink. So now I'm going to move on to my last one, and I'm going to move them around. And yeah, I'm going to need to move it quite a bit again. So uh, at the same story, I'm just going to uh, switch the video off, and uh, you can come back to me very shortly. So uh, after a wee bit of mucking about, as is often the case, to get these lined up, we've now got our design lined up and I'm going to put it just now onto a cotton shopper bag. Um, doesn't really matter, it can go onto a t-shirt or whatever. Uh, as I say, I'm using a flash dryer so that I'm not backing onto my screen, it's not wet on wet. Uh, just a few seconds, we're not laying down a huge amount of uh, ink. I'm going to bring the camera in so that you can see what's going on with this image. Uh, so you get an idea of exactly what's happening. It's taken from a watercolour painting and we've separated out the various parts of it and then we've added on a wee bit of text and you can see we've left some wording free here as well which I've almost got lined up um, if I was going to do a proper job with this um, I was going to 
uh, give it a bit more of a, a time around the lining up. Um, but it's Friday night, time to go home. Uh, here's a nice wee image that we've done. So we've got our tractor, we've got a wee key line around the, the words, we've got our image and we've got our red tractor lined up. I'll print off a t-shirt um, on a pure white and we'll lay that down as well just so you can have another look. So I'll switch the camera off, do a t-shirt and then you'll see how it sits like that. Printed onto a bag and then printed onto a uh, 